What's up you guys? We're out here at Marathon Key, Key West, getting some fishing going for you guys. This episode is going to be a first episode out here, so we're going to try to do a catch and cook with some either mangrove snapper or some kind of snapper or even sheephead. We're going to fish around the mangroves, see what happens. I mean, look at this place. Look at this place. Just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get to the mangroves. Got him. Got him. First fish. What is it, little grunt? Yep. All right, guys, first fish right here. Got our little grunter. So basically we're trying to do a catch and cook video right now, as you guys know. And um, we get one of these guys a little bit bigger, we'll eat them because grunts are very delicious fish. But this guy is just a tad bit too small. But look at the colors on this thing. It's totally beautiful. Oh, this shitload of mangrove snapper right here. None of them really the size we're after though. Dude, look at that sheephead. Oh, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll pitch to him, I'll pitch to him. That's what we want. Try to sneak up on him? Uh, okay, all right, I'm gonna be really quiet. Oh. They still there? Yep. He's right between the sticks. Perfect. Oh, there's it's it. Oh my god, they're gonna eat it. He's eating it. He's eating it. He eat it? Oh, he ate it off. He ate it off. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. These fish are delicious, Ryan. I gotta keep quiet with that. All we need to do is get this, this hook in between its teeth. Dude, I just don't wanna get snagged, you know? Okay, then on the other side, I'm about to sneak around really quiet. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Sheep head on, sheep head on, sight fished, sight fish. That's catch and cook right there, boys. That's a good one. Sheep head on, first sheep head ever in Florida. Let's go, boys. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you could. Oh my God, that was intense. Hold on, I'm bringing him up. That was insane. Oh, that was insane, boys. That was actually insane, just sight fishing these sheephead. That was insane, here. That was like one of the craziest experiences I've ever done. I, we're, you know, I'm in the mangroves right now, like, you know, we're from California, so this is new to us, but just sight fishing these sheephead is insane. Came down here for some snapper too, you know, but these sheephead, like, finding them like this is crazy, dude. This is insane. All right, all right, guys. Got our sheephead here. Big old legal sheephead. The filet going. So we're gonna start right here, down the pectoral fin. Find where that bone is. Basically what I'm doing is I'm getting right in the backside of this little fin right here. And then, I wish this knife was curved, it's the only one they had at the tackle shop, but I'm just kind of working back into it. Curved knife would be nice. But yeah guys, these fish really aren't the meatiest fish in the world, so I don't think I'm gonna catch and cook one of these guys next time, unless they taste like the greatest fish of all time. But, um. Really not the meatiest fish in the world. I mean, 
quite interesting. I mean, we have California sheephead where I'm from, and obviously they look completely different. They are like the definition of a completely different fish. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna honestly, I can kind of see why they call these ones sheephead because their teeth or something. I don't know why they call them sheepheads, honestly, but I don't see why they call our ones in California sheephead, to be honest. So I'm just gonna work down that backbone. Really feel it. All right, so right now, I'm just working down the bones, trying to save as much meat as possible, doing a little cut down. I mean, this is actually an interesting fish. I never flayed anything like it. It's not like a rockfish back home at all. Uh, yeah, just working down that bones. And I heard they had a big ass rib cage, which I seem to have found. So yeah, let's get back to it. Yeah, these things actually do not have a lot of meat on them. God damn, they're fucking bony as shit. There's, well, there's no bones in here. Oh, I know, but there's like nothing on them. No uh, bony as in, excuse me. Yeah. Throwing her on. We left the skin on, so let's see how this turns out. But yeah, so we left the skin on, see how it turns out. But honestly, we're just trying this fish. Like, we just really don't want the meat off of it, but see how this turns out. The skin left on. Don't leave the skin on, guys. That was a bad idea on my part. Do not leave the skin on. Look at all the scales that came off. All right, guys. So overall, the sheephead is great. We should have skinned it. I don't know why I didn't skin it. This ended up becoming a scale fiasco. But there's some bones. I mean, it's a, it's a kind of a bony fish, to be honest. But not as much meat as I expected. But super good, flavorful meat. I mean, really good. I'd say better than our sheephead back home. I mean, wow. Um, it's crazy good. The thing about the difference about these sheep is they're in shallow. You just saw, like, right of the mangroves. They're plucking these fish out of the mangroves. Like, that's crazy. I mean, look at that. Seasoned her up, and she eats great. I mean, it's just crazy to me that, like, a fish of this size, which is chilling in the mangroves in not even a foot of water, not even a foot of water, and I just pitched him a shrimp, gulped it up, set the hook. Here he is. So... I would say, I mean, one can feed one person, I mean, but if you want, if you're feeding like a family, you obviously like that. I think the limit is eight. I'm pretty sure the new possession limit is eight sheephead. But um, yeah, guys, that'd be 12 inches. This fish was about 14 and a half, 15, if he didn't keep twitching. But yeah, he's way over the legal size and delicious fish. I mean, what do you think, Ryan? He's really good. Yeah, super great fish. I mean. I mean, look at this place, beautiful Key West, eating fish and just chilling in the hot sun. So yeah, guys, peace.